Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to replace the swash plate on the Blade 120S2. So uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need Blade BLH4106, that's the part number, uh, swash plate for the 120S. And then if you broke your swash plate, you probably also broke some rotor head linkages. So you can get a set of four of these and it's BLH3115. So those are the two parts I'm gonna use. You're gonna need a small screwdriver. So I have my dynamite set here. So I'm gonna use that to kind of wrench it off. So first, you're gonna to wanna to remove the main rotor grips. These screws are really small, so you're going to want to be careful putting them to the side. Then you're going to gently pull these apart. Oh, forgot to remove the linkages. So you're going to want to pop that off. Pop the other linkage off. Place these to the side. Put the screws right next to them too. So then we got these linkages just hanging here. Let's remove the body to make this easier to view. So let's get out our swash plate here. So if you see the main piece here, kind of matches up just like that. So you're gonna need to remove the linkages on the servos. Carefully, just kind of pop them off. They're real gentle. That one just flipped over. So that's your two there. Then that goes into that line. So now you're gonna run and remove this so you can get the swash plate over. pops off. This piece comes up just like that. Remove your two linkages. Put those to the side. Remove the swash plate so you can see that's where mine broke. That whole pivot there popped out so and this will happen with crashes, so relatively inexpensive. I think they're about 10 bucks. So now we're gonna go ahead and put on our new swash plate. You're gonna align this portion, which hopefully it's focused there. But the, uh, the non-jointed portion, I guess you could call it. I don't know how you would call it. So gonna go ahead and twist this so that the hole is through so you can go through here line it up at the middle there go ahead and reattach the servo pieces here Then we'll go ahead and place this back on top. Seat it down. Place that little screw right back through. Oop, what did I do here? Got to line up the hole. So you got to line up the holes there. There you go. Nice and snug. Alrighty. Put that back through. I'm going to take your two screws. There's two metal washers 
I lost one of them, but they go on each portion of this little piece here. So uh, I don't think it's a huge deal, but <laughs> probably shouldn't lose them. Make sure you put them on if you, if you do have them. I think somebody pointed that out on my last repair video. So that I was missing one or didn't put one back on. But anyway, run these two screws back in. Nice and tight. Then you're going to take your two linkages. Connect them on each side here, just makes it easier. Pop one on, pop it on the other side. Run it through that main portion there. Connect it to the sides or onto the little ball joints there. Make sure this one runs in here. Pop it on. And there you have it. We'll go ahead and put the body back on carefully. There we go. All right. And you're all ready to get back out there and flying. Thanks for watching.